Hello Valkyrie and gamers. This is Alrix and I'm here to share a video of a solo kill on Earl in under 90 seconds. Earl Williams is one of the endgame bosses in Fallout 76. I will lay out the demonstration in two parts. Part 1 covers the gear, perks, and effects that made this possible so that you may try to get similar results. Part 2 will be the time battle. This isn't a perfect run, but Earl was killed in around 1 minute and 18 seconds. After one wasteland for all, weapon damage was lowered across the board. Although the gear and legendary perks on this character may be an outlier, I wanted to express that it's still possible to do plenty of damage legitimately. My character is an automatic rifle or commando build and the weapon of choice is a quad 25% faster fire rate, 25 let's fats AP cost fixer. This character wears a matching set of legendary unyielding secret service armor. Additionally, shielded road leathers are the current under armor. I made sure that all gear was repaired before engaging the boss fight. I won't be going over every single perk and I have to admit that I'm still trying to polish the build. Although this build relies on offense, I try to add some defensive perks so I have some room for error when I'm in combat. For the legendary perks, this character uses funky duds, legendary perception, legendary luck, legendary agility, legendary endurance, and follow through. Although it's not my finalized build, I will post a link of the perk setup in the details. I have multiple buffs going on, but the three noted consumables on this list are Small Gun Bobblehead, Guns and Bullets 3, and Blight Zoom, since they affect damage. The mutations used here are Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Herbivore, Marsupial, and Speed Demon. I drop down a shaft to take enough fall damage in order to be downed. The life saving legendary effect I am wearing temporarily revives me in order to activate the revenant effect for 2 minutes. Afterwards, I re equip my unyielding pieces and go back to my initial perk setup. The final 4 buffs that will be activated are Ballistic Bach, Liquid Courage, Overdrive, and Psychotats. And now part 2 of this video, the boss fight of Earl Williams. The fight lasted for around 1 minute and 18 seconds. Not perfect for him, but I put in effort to manage my health, AP, stealth, and environmental awareness. I typically don't jump so much, but over here it's a tactic to avoid excess damage from the Wendigo spawns. Also note that the asbestos lining on the chest piece negates the environmental effect from the falling embers. 
I'm hoping that something was learned here and you're able to take a shot on Earl by yourself in the near future. As you may have noticed, I am finally over level 3000. This happened on Sunday, November 29th at 6.30pm PST. Top of that, I was able to max out all the legendary perks. And there it is, and we die at the same time. Here on YouTube, the channel is now over 1000 subscribers. Just one month ago, this channel was sitting at under 300 subscribers. There are some special giveaways happening in the Valkyrie Gaming Discord for those milestones. Thank you for helping this channel grow as it gives me more motivation to continue uploading. If you haven't already, please leave a like so this video can be discovered by other players like yourself. Subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified of future content. I'll be back next week with another informational video, but you can catch me live streaming on Twitch. I run Nooks with the community and participate in Stream Raiders. I am also on Twitter, where I follow all gamers back. You can also find me on Facebook and Reddit. And if you're looking for a content creator community, check out the Logforce Discord server. Until next time, I appreciate you coming through. Video dismissed, Arix offline. Bye now.